Now let us go over uh, the transition timeline that was rolled out by UL to uh, certify the old products from 58C or to transition the product certified according to 58C to the new uh, 61800-5-1. Here is the process of uh, withdrawal of 58C and implementation of 61800-5-1 rolled out by UL in agreement with the standards technical panel which also included uh, manufacturers. In summary, after the February 2020 last year, there is only one UL standard for the safety certification of low voltage uh, adjustable speed drives, that is UL 61800-5-1. The old existing UL 58C listed drives may retain the mark moving on uh, unless the alternate construction is not made to those products. What does it mean? It means that any replacement of the components within the existing 58C listed drive for example, a DC bus capacitor or uh, IGBT or, or a diode uh, may require a complete redesign, complete overhaul of the design, and retesting and recertification according to this new standard 61800-5-1. There are about eight years of total timeline that is more than adequate, which was given by UL to all the dry manufacturers to switch over their products from UL61800, from UL508C to UL61800-5-1. And this timeline was also given to the uh, equipment manufacturers, OEM, system integrators, panel builders, etc., who are using this drive in their, comp uh, in their equipment as a component. Now let us see the uh, impact to the industry because of this withdrawal of UL508C last year. Uh, what does this UL change mean to you if you are a drive end user or a customer? In fact, uh, after the publication of UL61800-5-1 nine years ago, many industrial customer or equipment owners or users, for example, in uh, automobile industry, water, wastewater, metals industry, pulp and paper, oil and gas, etc., they have started specifying uh, the use of only 61800-5-1 listed drives because it shows the enhanced level of product safety. It's the latest technology uh, standards requirement uh, uh, and therefore they have mandated the use in their requirement and bid specifications. And they uh, now do not even allow the use of UL508C certified drive anymore. Especially after the withdrawal of uh, uh, 508C last year, these customer specifications uh, are demanding the OEMs and system uh, builders or panel builders uh, to supply the drive in their equipment which is certified according to this new standard only. And therefore they are putting pressure on the drive manufacturers to supply the uh, uh, UL61800-5-1 listed drives only. Also the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, UL508C is withdrawn last year and replaced with 61800-5-1. Uh, and therefore, UL has started removing the references uh, to UL508C in almost like 80 different uh, UL standards and documents uh, with the new reference 61800-5-1. This uh, replacement of the references is done in the standards like industrial control panel, uh, 508A, which is uh, standard for industrial control panel, in the motor control center, which is UL845, the HVAC equipment, which is UL1995, and there are many others. So it becomes really prudent for the customer to use the latest technology drive products in the equipment in their panel or MCC or chiller, uh, which are designed and certified according to the latest and most rigorous and enhanced safety requirements according to UL61800-5-1. Uh, if I were a customer, I would not like to use the obsolete and outdated technology uh, drive product that is designed with the safety requirements that has not even been kept up to date with the National Electrical Code requirement, which is NEC or NFPS 70 requirement in my equipment. And uh, also the authorities having jurisdiction and the electrical inspectors in many counties and cities they have also increasingly started, especially after the last year when this 508C is withdrawn, they have started asking uh, for only UL61800-5-1 listed drives in the equipment or in the panels or a chiller at the uh, end customers or equipment owners site. 
Uh, now let us see what does this change mean to you if you are an OEM or a system builder or a panel builder or a machine builder. Uh, following the withdrawal of UL508C last year, although OEMs, system builder, panel builders, or machine builders have uh, some time to modify their equipment and start using uh, the, uh, the drive uh, listed according to UL61800-5-1, uh, the changes and the, uh, the requirement specification from the customers are actually continuously mandating the latest and new technology uh, UL61800-5-1 listed drives. Therefore, the OEMs and system integrators, they have to make this modification and adapt to this change by modifying the equipment and start using this uh, drive certified according to this new standard sooner than later. And they need to quickly modify their equipment design and start using these uh, uh, drives listed based on the latest technology requirement of this new standard uh, to get ahead of the curve, uh, to get ahead of their competition, and to support their customers effectively. Which means if the OEMs and system integrators, panel builders, or machine builders who have proactively uh, modified their design and they stipulated the drive manufacturers to supply the replacement drive uh, in their equipment, they are ahead of the curve. They will be better uh, in serving the new market demands and new uh, customer requirements more effectively uh, as compared to their competitors. Now let us see what does this change mean to you if you are a drive manufacturers. As I mentioned earlier, the drives listed according to the old and withdrawn UL508C may retain the UL mark until those are modified. What does this mean? It means that if the, there is a component replacement required within that existing 508C listed drive or any design uh, or construction changes are required, then those drives have to be completely redesigned and recertified according to UL61800-5-1 uh, based on this new latest technology requirement. Therefore, in fact, the drive manufacturers who have not made these changes, it's going to create more uh, issues for those drive manufacturers and because the drive manufacturers are, especially from last year, from February 2020, are expected to supply the drives which are certified according to 61800-5-1 uh, uh, compliant drives only in the, in the equipment. And if they haven't done so, then they will be at a, a greater uh, risk or they will be facing more challenges in convincing the customers, system or panel builders or OEMs to use, continue to use their obsolete uh, 5.8C listed drives. Uh, these are the drive manufacturers which have not followed uh, the UL process of transitioning the drive products from the old 508C to new 61800-5-1 in last nine years, uh, which is allowed by UL in agreement with all the manufacturers. They will likely face great difficulties in responding the market requirements and the customer demands in timely manner to supply the drive uh, listed according to new UL61800-5-1. Now let us see what does this change mean to a retrofit job or a repair of an equipment which is comprised of old UL508C listed drive. Typically the UL compliance of the electrical system or equipment after the retrofit or repair at the end of, uh, uh, at the end customers or equipment owner side, it does not fall under the UL's responsibility or jurisdiction unless uh, it is clearly specified in the equipment retrofit or uh, repair specifications from the manufacturer. If it is specified in the manufacturer's, uh, sorry, uh, customer specifications, then in that case, the UL field inspection group or the any other NRTL, which is nationally recognized testing lab, that needs to be engaged to carry out the field inspection of the uh, approval and the approval of the finished equipment after the retrofit or repair job is done. Uh, which at that point, which standard to follow? It is at it's solely a choice of the customer or equipment owner. But most likely, they're going to specify, or they have actually started specifying the 61800-5-1, especially because the authorities having jurisdiction, uh, electrical inspectors, uh, they have started mandating the uh, use of drive, which are listed only according to this new standard. Therefore the customers and equipment owners are also stipulating 
the drive which are certified according to 61800-5-1 for the retrofit and repair job. The OEMs and panel builders who are proactive, like I mentioned, and who have made these uh, changes in their equipment and replaced the old 508C drive in their equipment with equivalent 61800-5-1 listed drives, they are at, at a better position and they have better chances of winning such retrofit or repair opportunities now.